Hey YouTube, this is Rancic from RCC Entertainment. Hey guys, I know it's been such a long, long, long time. I've been super busy doing a lot of creative work on with my personal uh, comic books and stuff like that. So I haven't had a chance to be on YouTube as much. Um, well, on this channel. Uh, on another channel, I'm, I'm part of the Indie Alliance. I'm one of the founding members of the Indie Alliance where we do a lot of... Um, we do a lot of like uh, videos that we talk about comic books and how the industry is, how things are going, how we can help people and stuff like that. So you should definitely check out the Indie Alliance, um, the Bleeding, Dying, Dead podcast on YouTube. Um, it's, it's, it's really good, amazing. Um, and you should check it out. You, um, you can learn a lot of things. You could like, you know, give us any like questions that you may have. It's pretty cool. But I do still want to do some uh, content on this channel. I want to do the best I can uh, to upload occasional videos here and there. I don't have a schedule right now. Um, I used to have a schedule. I used to upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays, or was it? Oh no, actually, it was Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and I used to put some videos up and stuff like that. But now I just don't have that type of income. Uh, I'm using that income for my creative projects. So I, you know, I'm basically gonna upload a few videos. Uh, maybe one or two videos a month so uh, stick with me guys I know it's it's I know it's hard I know you guys want to see me opening more stuff and I'm gonna do the best I can um, and I'm sure I'll be able to open more stuff in the near future but not as uh, uh, not as consistent right now but I know in the future I'll be a lot more consistent hopefully um, when things are a little bit more settled so but I had to get this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck, structure deck, and I'm a big, big fan of, uh, especially at that time, the dual terminal sets. Um, and when I started making um, decks back then, when I was younger, uh, one of the first decks I kind of like was intrigued by were ice barriers. Um, I really liked though the concept about like you know like setting up each other out in the field and using certain effects to like lock down your opponent from doing anything but it was too slow back in the day it was just inconsistent i mean they had a good boss monster is trishula uh and they had like brionic and um delorean they had a lot of good dragon ice barrier monsters with very great effect and gun year and stuff like that but then eventually some of those cards got banned especially trishula early on uh, and the deck just was became much more less playable. I mean, it was kind of less playable at that time, too I mean, it's more of a fun deck build. You just build it for fun It wasn't really super competitive now, but now I hear that the deck is much more playable um, Now so that's more fun and more exciting um, but when it comes to uh, uh, Trishula, of course, Trishula is unbanned now and stuff like that. So that's awesome so honestly for me I'm a big Ice Barrier fan. I made an Ice Barrier deck. I used to play really, really well with it with my friends and stuff like that. I never took it to a uh, tournament or, you know, so I never really did, no, never thought that I would, you know, even do well in a tournament. So I was like, eh, you know, it's fine. But uh, yeah, so I want to open up this structure deck, guys, because I want to look at the new cards. So I'm super excited to open this. I really want to see what new uh, Ice Barrier cards they have in there. So let's go. Um, okay. Look at the artwork, though. The artwork is freaking amazing. It's gorgeous. I guess that looks like Trishula, but I guess that might be the new one. New Trishula. Okay, we got like the typical. Oh, nice. Let's put the ice barrier playmat here. Here we go. Oh, look at that baby. Ooh, looks gorgeous. I gotta get a play mat like this, like a real play mat. Looks beautiful. So, let's look at the deck, shall we? Uh, it's always a. Okay. Ooh, there it goes. The plastic is out. 
let's look at oh we got these but I guess these are promotions and here we got the dual links talking about dual links they're talking about time to duel this is uh ah legacy of the duelist that comes with the blazing vortex card for structured deck freezing chains and this is the dual links right here with all three i guess two protagonists um and here we go with the deck guys let's go let's look at this let's look at this excitement right now super excited let's go our first card is revealer of the ice barrier looks amazing speaker of the ice barrier oh, I thought that looks pretty good yeah. Zujin of the ice barrier winds of the ice barrier Trushula zero dragon of the ice barrier <laughs> you know what this reminds me of remember the three bahamets in final fantasy 7 zero bahamet neo bahamet and like regular bahamet <laughs> this is what zero chushula so what's next <laughs> neo chushula that'd be amazing delorean dragon of the ice barrier bryonic dragon of the ice barrier gunyer dragon of the ice barrier to shoot regular chushula dragon of the ice barrier I remember this card was like super expensive when it came out. I think it was like ninety dollars to a hundred. I think it's amazing. I think it was um, Hidden Arsenal Four, if I believe. Uh, General Wayne of the Ice Barrier, Hexa uh, Spirit of the Ice Barrier, Blizzard Defender of the Ice Barrier, Cryomancer, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Prior of the Ice Barrier, Defender. Of the ice barrier warlock of the ice barrier spellbreaker of the ice barrier strategist of the ice barrier dance princess of the ice barrier really good card daisojo of the ice barrier general raiho of the ice barrier medium of the ice barrier general gintala of the ice barrier General Grunard of the Ice Barrier, Genex Controller, Genex Udine, uh, Undine, Aqua Spirit, Dupe Frog, Ronin Toden, Fishborg Launcher, Mogulasia of the Elemental Lord, Silent Angler. This is kind of what reminds me of Lantern from Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier, one of the new cards. Like, I, I, ooh, be beautiful. Really cool. Magical Triangle of the Ice Barrier. Ah, uh, the Broken Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Mirror of the Ice Barrier. Salvage. Surface. Where Are They Thou? A Pointer of the Red Lotus. Fiendish Chain, Ishbane, Mind Drain, Heavy Storm Duster, Crackdown, and Terror of Trushula. Must be one of the new cards for, for Trushula, which just looks amazing. Um, so yeah, that's all the cards right there, guys. I'm super excited. I'm going to probably buy two more of these, and I'm going to build a deck, uh, another Ice Bear deck, because I want to, like... Take myself back into memory lane and re remind me of the times where I used to play Ice Barriers. Now that Trishula's unbanned, I can probably use Trishula and you know Synchros is one of my favorite forms of summoning. So besides uh, old school fusions, so yeah, it's gonna be amazing to see how I can build a new uh, new Ice Barrier deck and how it could compete and how fun is it, it is. You know what I mean? Because Yu-Gi-Oh is all about having fun. But it's also having, you know, you, of course you want to be competitive because if, if you're in that field of want to go to tournaments and stuff like that. So if not, then playing casually for fun is the most important thing anyway. But anyway, guys, this is Rancic from RCC Entertainment. Please like, share, subscribe. 
for more content guys i know my content is going pretty slow but i want to do my best to try to bring you at least something small like this like a structured deck opening or something like that um at least to entertain you guys as much as i can so um yeah guys thank you for everything thank you for being st still sticking with me even though i've been super busy and doing a um, crazy amount of other things but um yeah so thank you so much guys take care of yourselves and have a great day